I've loved my little beekeeping journey. It really connects you to nature. Being able to get your own honey is a joyful thing. Bees are absolutely amazing. Every time there's a new wave of flowers, it's different texture, different colour, different flavour. Delicious. So I'm going to be using this beautiful honey on the top of my pizza. And it's going to divide opinion, but you have to trust me. This is a mozzarella and pecorino pizza with grapes and honey. It's a flavour sensation. This is going to get people going, well, what's that? How, when, why, what? Uh, really? Oh. Right, that is what this pizza does. Here I have some lovely pizza dough. By the way, if you want the pizza dough recipe, I'll put a link down below. So this is about 150 grams worth. Put it on a floured surface, flour your hand, right? So you could roll it out, but then you destroy all the air. So just gently ease it, pull it, and let gravity stretch it. And you can just move it around, use the sides of your fingers, and as it gets big enough, then start using your fist like that. And I've worked with chefs that are so fast at this and I've never really got too fast at it, but I keep trying. So look, the oven is nice and hot. It's about 240 degrees. If you're gonna do this in a normal oven at home, that's completely fine. Get it on full whack, preheat it. And that's when you'd have something like a pizza stone and that would be really useful. I'm using a little wooden peel here. If you're doing pizza at home, I use just a little wooden chopping board. You want to just pull it on here like that. Then let's get on to the flavours. So I just take a little bit of mozzarella, don't need much at all, just distribute it around the little pizza. I'm going to be quite generous with pecorino. Of course you can use parmesan but the pecorino has got an amazing tang. So it's the cheese actually that's the base, not tomato. Finally slice a nice red onion. You could use shallots if you wish. A little bit of rosemary in with that red onion. With the grapes, you can leave some whole and you can cut some in half. And then I can put a little bit of rosemary. Just give it a little bash. Tiny pinch of salt. Go in with the grapes and the onion. Olive oil, a tiny swig of vinegar, pepper, and mix it up. So I've put the cheese on the bottom because that will ooze and melt. And then distribute the red onion around the top and I want to go heavy on the grapes. If you have different types of grapes, even better. Green ones, different flavours. Pine nuts on top. So when you take this to the oven, whether it's a wood oven or indoors, you want to get there with an indoor oven, open the oven quickly and shake it onto that pizza stone. Close the door. You want to keep the heat. With this oven, it's got up to temperature. Go in and let's show you what happens. You can go bigger and thinner. Lovely, crispy and delicate. You can go a little bit shorter and fatter, more fluffy and spongy. It's your choice. If you want, you can even fold it over so it's like a semi half moon and that makes a little calzone. Beautiful. So here we go, lovely people. Have a little look at that. Bubbling, sizzling, gorgeous. And then of course, at the end, honey. And that works with the salt of the cheese in the most beautiful way. Joyful. Fragrance from the rosemary, tang and saltiness from the cheese, sweetness from the grapes and the honey. Let's do this. <laughs> I never get bored of that. Mm. So next time you make pizzas at home, go forth. Do one's margarita, do one's American hot, but about three pizzas in, do this. Like, throw in the curveball. You won't regret it. <laughs>